Blessings. How are we doing today? I feel like preaching today. All right. I was doing some research. I just haven't been watching the video. And I hear people talking about the Israelites and stuff like that. And how they were cheating them out. You know, of course, they're talking about black people who, you know, our education things they stole from us. All right. And all the stuff coming out about Jesus being black and all that stuff. And they're saying it's not important and stuff like that. But it is important. All right. I understand. We understand what Jesus taught. All right. As far as like people coming through him, through the fall and stuff, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Accepting a lot of people. All right. But, 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 but Israelites are not wrong. You understand? About telling black people who are Israelites to actually do what they need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? It's like this. Let me give you an example I'm saying to you. I'm a father. I have children. All right? I tell my children to do certain things, right? But in the course of me telling my children to do certain things, right? Their friends are around them. You understand? And let's just consider this and say, let's say, let's say now, let's put the same thing in. I'm Jesus. The Jews I'm talking to, right? They hear me, but we have Gentiles that's on the side and they listen to you. You understand? Okay. I tell my sons and daughters what to do, blah, 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 to better themselves with them, the path they should choose, and blah, 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 right? They go straight, all right? They go straight. But they friends, all right? A few of their friends pick up on what I'm telling them. And follow my path and honor me. You understand what I'm saying? Now, they may not been expected to do this, so I give them their due based on the fact that they're not they're not basically in a position that they have to honor me. You understand? Because I'm they're not my children. You understand? They're not my chosen children. They're not the ones that I've I created. You understand? As my chosen You follow me? These are my chosen children Alright Now I'm going to accept them In my house Because they listen They honor me You understand? Because they The same thing with you They're Gentiles But they honor them You know what I'm saying? So he accept them And he will bless them The same thing I would do With my, my, my kids' friends You know what I'm saying? They listen to me They respect me you know what I'm saying? And they honor me and doing the things that I try to teach my children to do, and they want up doing it. You know what I'm saying? And following suit. And I'm proud of them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a reflection of the things I taught. So I will honor them, just like God will honor the Gentiles, and just like Jesus honored the Gentiles. You understand? And see, that's the problem. It's not saying, it's the, the Israelites is not saying that God is not going to bless those that honor him and obey his teachings. That's not. Israelites You understand what I'm saying No he's not saying that per se But but he is saying And it is expecting right? Just like if my children was, If I'm telling my children to do something And I'm, I'm expecting them More so than their friends to do what I told them to do You understand what I'm saying So at the end of the day My expression of my children Is what's important to me You understand what I'm saying they have to get their act together because they are my children. They are the chosen. Those are my chosen children. They are my people. Those are my children. The same thing with the Israelites. We are their children. We are the children of God. You know what I'm saying? We are their chosen people. You know what I'm saying? So we have to get ourselves together. You know what I'm saying? So the Israelites is not teaching false teachings as far as like the blackness and who the people are. Because this is who God and Jesus was talking to. He was talking to us. You know what I'm saying? And let's understand something. Let me tell you something. America is not being blessed because they blessing Israel, giving them guns and ammunition and sit over there and kill up on people over there in Israel and all that nonsense they got going over there. America is not getting blessed because that's not what God told them. You're saying God is not blessing that Israel. Everybody around the world is trying to bless Israel. The state, the, the, the location, that's not what God said. Let me tell you what he said. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. The house of Israel. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about the lineage. He ain't talking about the state, the location. You understand what I'm saying? He's talking about the people. You understand? He's talking about us. So when you do not do for them, you need to do for us. You understand what I'm saying? You need to make amends to us. This is when they're going to bless you. And if you don't try to make amends to the Israelites, 
in the house of Israel, you're going to find yourself in a problem. You're not going to get blessed. So all the time that you haven't gave us any blessings throughout the cause of we've been here in this country, this country and trying to bless, you gave, you gave, you, it's ironic because you, you turn around and you give the Jews who are not Israelites. You know what I'm saying? They're Judas. They're Judas. You know what I'm saying? They're just somebody that want to be Israelites. They're, they're not. They're Jews. That's why I call them Jews. They're Judas. They're not, they're not Jews. I mean, they're not Israelites, man. And you're blessing them, you know what I'm saying? You keep giving them, uh, uh, giving them, you're paying them off before what happened to them when they was in the thing with Hitler and all that other crazy stuff. Y'all, you know, your represents, what's that, representation or whatever that stuff is, y'all call that. And um, y'all paying these people. But the people you're supposed to be paying is the ones that y'all never gave them to. And that's the blacks. We are the original Israelites. And that's what's important. This is what you keep slipping. It's not these Israelites is teaching anything wrong. You are getting it wrong. All right? Understand what he's saying. Hear what he said again. Now, these are all, all his form. forms. Forms 115.12. That's the first one I've read about blessing the house of Israel. The second one is Forms 121, 4 through 5, dash, and 7. Right? God promised to watch over Israel and to keep them from all harm. Keep them. Do you understand something? Keep them. Them are us. You understand what I'm saying? Why don't they get why, why Listen, let me tell you something. America and all these people around the world have been trying to kill off and destroy black people since they try to bring them and kidnap them and all the nonsense they've been doing. And we're still here. We're still standing. You've been giving up. Y'all been trying to kill us, poison, shoot us, slave us, name it. You understand what I'm saying? And we're still here. You understand what I'm saying? That's because God promised to protect the house of Israel, man. And to keep them from harm. Keep us from harm. We are on this planet and we are still driving. We are still who we are because of, he kept us from harm. Even through the trials, tribulations, and things that, that we went through, we're still standing. Do you understand this? So you blessing the wrong Israel. You're supposed to be blessing the, the house of Israel, the children of Israel, the lineages, us, the Americas have all of Israelites all over the all over the continent, all over this area. You know what I'm saying? That's who you're supposed to be blessing. Us. We are the original people. This is the house of God been telling you to bless. And the Israelites is right. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with. Anybody else God was talking to us It's like I was talking to my children And I gave you that example You know what I'm saying God was talking to us If the Gentile Which is my say my children's friends Accept my teaching You know what I'm saying It's all well and good I'm going to embrace them And love them all just the same You know what I'm saying But no But my expectation is not of them So therefore they don't have to meet the standards of what I would have to would order to get my blessings. You follow me? They won't have to meet the standards to get my blessings because they was not. I never depend on them to do the things I was trying to teach my children to do. You understand what I'm saying? So don't, they honor me by doing those things and honoring me and by accomplishing in my name and thinking about me and, and giving me praise for teaching them. So I have to give them. Play, I have to give them their due. You understand what I'm saying? Like I would give my friend, my sons and daughters, their friends do. You understand? Because to them, I'm like a father or a teacher or a father figure or somebody that they idolize, somebody that, that guided them. You have to do the course of their life. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with God. When he's dealing with the Gentiles and Jesus, when he dealing with the Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? Israelites are not wrong. Because at the end of the day, we, as the original Israelites, you know what I'm saying? That extinct the, 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 the lineage through Israel. You understand? It's not a place. It's a person. You understand? We are the one that need to get it together. You understand what I'm saying? Because we are our father's children. So he be, he's expected us to do what we need to do. Because at the end of the day, if we don't do it, he'll be he'll feel he, you know he'll feel disappointed in his kids. And say that's what God is telling you. He feels disappointed in you because you're his child. 
You know, said the end of the day, I'm gonna do all my blessings to you. I'm going and you're gonna inherit everything. You know what I'm saying? You and my your your friends is not my children. But since they became, which guess they they listened to my guidance, they and they gave me praise. I'm gonna bless them too. You know what I'm saying? But the major blessings go to you. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching over you because you're my child. It's the same thing with God. It's the same thing with us as Israel, the black Israelite. That's why it's so important to know that you're that God was talking to and Jesus was black. You know what I'm saying? Because you. A black person, especially the black Americans, you know, say all throughout the Americas, you are the Israelites. You understand? Know what I'm saying? You are the direct descendants of Israel. You understand? Know and it's not a country. It's a person. That's your lynch. You understand? Know so anywhere around the world, and he, like you said, he would keep them. Them. He's talking about us. He's talking about the house. 